Okay, what is up there, YouTube? This is Jay Man Time, and today I have a video on surviving Italian warships of World War II. Now, I already did a video on surviving warships of the German Kriegsmarine. Now, let's do a video on surviving warships of the Italian Regia Maria of the Second World War. Now, during World War II, the Italians, like their German counterparts, filled it a large fleet of battleships, cruisers, destroyers, submarines, and even torpedo boats. But most of those ships were scrapped after World War II or were sunk during the conflict. But some vessels from the old Regia Marina actually still survive to this very day. So let's go over some of the surviving warships from the Italian Navy of the Second World War. And the first ship on the list is the MN Ram 3, or Ram 3. And the Ram 3 was an Italian auxiliary cruiser constructed originally between 1938 and entered service in 1940. Now the Ram 3 had a displacement of 3,700 126 tons. Her main armament was two or four 120 millimeter 4.7 inch dual purpose anti ship slash anti aircraft guns, and she also carried eight 13.2 millimeter Rita model 1931 anti aircraft auto cannons or anti aircraft machine guns. Her armor thickness was non existent, and her speed was 18.5 knots or 21.3 miles per hour or 34.3 kilometers per hour and she had a crew of 120. Now the Ram 3 was originally constructed as a refrigerated banana boat by the Italian Arsado company in 1938 but later in 1940 she was converted into an auxiliary cruiser for the Italian Navy and actually served throughout the majority of World War II. Now in 1940 she had her first taste of combat during the Battle of the Straits of Aunt Toronto, in which the Ram 3, along with her escort ship, the Italian torpedo boat Fabrizi, actually clashed with a group of British cruisers and destroyers of the British Navy in the Lower Adriatic Sea. And during this battle, the torpedo boat Fabrizi was actually damaged, and the Ram 3 had to flee the scene. Now, both of these ships were actually protecting an Italian convoy, and that convoy was later sunk by British cruiser and destroyer fire. So the Ram 3 and her first mission actually failed, but largely she survived the battle intact. Later on, on the 10th of May 1941, the Ram 3 was actually torpedoed by the British submarine HMS Trumpet off the coast of Benghazi while she was heading towards Benghazi Harbor, but luckily she was actually repaired in the in the Italian port in the city of Tracy later on in that month of May 1941 and that was pretty much the first year of the Ram 3's service now later on in 1943 Italy was eventually invaded by the American and British forces and pretty much is the southern half of Italy which sides the southern half of Italy eventually switched sides to the Allies, leaving Mussolini in control of only the smaller northern half of the country, which was later renamed the Italian Socialist Republic. And as a result of this, the German High Command ordered the confiscation of all Italian vessels that included Italian ground vehicles like tanks and artillery also. And on the 9th of September 1943, the Ram 3 was actually seized by German troops in the Italian city of Trieste. Later on, she was refitted as a mine layer and pressed into service in the German Kriegsmarine as the German mine layer Kiebitz. And the Kiebitz would serve as a mine layer in the German Kriegsmariner for at least a year and a few months. The Keyblitz during her time in German service had laid over 5,000 naval mines in the Adriatic Sea before she eventually ran aground 
off the coast of Akana, Italy. And during that time period, she was actually salvaged and actually managed to reach the city of Regica, which was located or which is located in modern day Croatia. But at that time, Croatia was part of the occupied Yugoslavia during the Second World War. Later on, she was actually sunk by Allied aircraft in November 1944 just ending the service of the German Mylair Kiewitz, formerly known as, as the Italian auxiliary cruiser Ram 3. Now, later on, after World War II, the Kiewitz, or Ram 3, was actually raised by the newly formed Federal Socialist Republic of Yugoslavia, and she was actually pressed into service in the Yugoslav Navy as the Yugoslav auxiliary yacht Galib and Galeb served as a private yacht and training ship in the Yugoslav Navy from 1952 until the collapse of Yugoslavia in 1991-1992. And during that time period, she was actually used as a presidential yacht by the president of Yugoslavia, Joseph Boris Tito, until his death in 1980. Later on, she served as a training ship again until the collapse of Yugoslavia. In 1991, Croatia actually broke away from the, from the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. And later on, the Galeb, formerly the Ram 3, was actually stationed in the port of Rajika still as a training vessel. But when the war ended in 1998-1999, the ship was largely abandoned afterwards. And that was until the year 2006. By 2006, the Croatian government was finally strong enough to order that the ship be preserved. It wasn't until another decade later, in 2016, that any restoration work actually began. So since 2016, the Galeb slash Ram 3 has been under some minor conservation work. The conservation work is due to be completed sometime between 2020 and 2025. So the Ram 3, the Italian auxiliary cruiser Ram 3, still survives to this day in the Croatian city of Rajika, and she is pretty much the last of the heavy warships from the World War II era Regina Marina, or the Italian Navy of the Second World War. The next surviving warships from the Italian Regia Marina are actually two Italian motor torpedo boats known as the Moto Zileranti um, MS-472 and Moto Zileranti MS-473. These were two CRDA-60 type motor torpedo boats that served in the Italian Navy from 1942 all the way up until the 1970s. Now, these two ships were actually part of an entire class of torpedo boats, 36 torpedo boats in total, and they were under the Moto Zoloranti CRAD-60 type class of Italian motor torpedo boats that were used during the Second World War. These vessels had a displacement of between 63 and 66 tons. Their main armament consisted of either two or four 20 millimeter Brita 20 slash 65 anti-aircraft auto cannons. They also had a torpedo armament of two 533 millimeter torpedo tubes. Their speeds were 35 knots or 65 kilometers per hour or 40 miles per hour. And they had a crew of between 12 and 14. Now, keep in mind the names MS-472 and MS-473 weren't the original names of these vessels. During World War II, they went under two separate names, and these names were the Moto Sularanti MS-24 and the Moto Sularanti MS-31. Now, the MS-24 didn't really have a good combat record. She was largely used as a patrol vessel, but the MS-31, also known today as the Moto Sularanti MS-473, actually did have an extensive World War II combat history. 
For example, on the 13th of August, 1943, the Moto Suleranti MS-31 actually sank the 8,982-ton British steamer Glenorchy. And later on, two days later, on August the 15th, 1943, the MS-31, along with two other motor torpedo boats, actually sank a British light cruiser off the coast of St. Spartavento. Later on, then, later on, in 1943, she eventually switched sides and she was now in southern Italy, which had switched to the Allied side. And later on, in June 1944, she actually attacked and damaged several ships in a German convoy. So during the Second World War, the MS-31, known today as the MS-473, actually did have a good combat record and actually managed to sink two enemy warships, a British steamer, the Glenorchy, and a unnamed British light cruiser uh, off the coast of Capo Spravinto. Now, after World War II, the Italian Navy had to be rebuilt, and later on, between 1949 and 1952, these two Italian motor torpedo boats were added to the new Italian Navy, and their names were changed from the MS-24 and MS-31 and into the MS-472 and MS-473, and they would go on to serve all the way up until 1979. By the end of 1979, these ships had finally been decommissioned and later on in the 1980s, they were converted into mu museum ships. Now, both of these vessels can actually still be seen today as museum ships at the Museums Ravenna and the Museum Venezia, located in Italy. So that basically ends the history of these two motor torpedo boats, the Motor Suleranti MS-24, known today as the MS-472, and the Motor Suleranti MS-31, known today as the MS-473. Now, let's move on to two surviving Italian submarines, submarines from the Second World War. And these are not just any submarine. These are Italian midget submarines, also known as Summer Gibili, Tuscabili. But these are two submarines of the Caparuni CB class of midget submarines that were constructed between 1941 and 1943. And the first midget submarine on the list is the Caparuni CB-20, also known by her Croatian name as Mizan. Now, Mizan was a CB-class midget submarine that was constructed between 1941 and 1943, entering service in 1943. And she was a summer Gibili Tuscabili, or a midget submarine in Italian. Her displacement is 35.4 tons or 44.3 tons um, submerged. Her main armament was two 450 millimeter external torpedo tubes, but she could also carry two naval mines. Her speed was 7.5 knots or 13.9 kilometers per hour surfaced or seven knots or 13 kilometers per hour submerged. And she had a crew of four. Now, the CB-20 actually served in the Italian Navy during the last year of Italy's main involvement in the war in 1943 before the cupellation in the carving up of Italy temporarily from 1943 until 1945. And during this time period, she actually served off the coast of Italy along with the later CB series of midget submarines and her, her job was originally to halt the Allied advance onto Italy. But this ultimately failed and in 1943 the southern half of Italy switched sides while the northern half remained under Mussolini's control but most of the naval facilities were in the southern half and in 1943 the CB-20 along with several other midget submarines were seized by 
AID German forces during the Battle of Southern Italy in 1943. Later on in 1943-1944, the German forces retreated to occupied Yugoslavia, and later on the CB-20 would serve in the German Croatian Navy in that region until 1945. In 1945, the Caproni CB-20 was actually captured by Yugoslav forces in the port city of Pola at the very end of World War II in 1945. Later on in the year 1950, just five years later, she was actually incorporated into the newly formed Navy of the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia and served for seven years as the Yugoslav submarine P-901. Later on in 1959, she was donated to the Technical Museum in Zagreb, which is in modern-day Croatia, where she still survives to this day as one of the last examples of a World War II era Italian midget submarine. But she is not the only CB class to survive. Another submarine from this class survives, and that is the Caporoni CB-22, also from the year 1942-1943. And like the CB-20, she also served at first as a coastal patrol midget submarine off the coast of Italy during the last year of Italy's main involvement in World War II, 1943. But later on, southern Italy would switch sides joining the Allied side, and the northern half of Italy remained under Mussolini's control. And later on, the Germans would confiscate almost all of the Italian vessels they could before the southern half of Italy was completely taken over by the Allies. The CB-22, just like her sister ship, the CB-20, was taken to occupied Yugoslavia, where she served in the German Navy in that region of Europe. She served all the way up until 1945, where she was eventually scuttled by her German crew off the coast of Yugoslavia. But later on, until the 1960s, in the 1960s, an Italian salvage crew actually salvaged the wreck of the CB-22 and took her to the villa in the city of Camerini, where she was later preserved, where she was later restored and temporarily preserved there for several years until the 1980s or 90s. Later on, she was transferred to the Military Museum of Trieste, where she could still be seen to this very day as one of only two Caperoni CB class of midget submarines to survive the Second World War. And that's basically it for this video. These were the only four World War II era vessels from the Italian Regia Marina that managed to survive until the 21st century, and they can still be seen to this day. If you had to ask me which ones were my favorite, I would say the Ram 3 and the CB-20, as, as those two warships have the most interesting history. But what do you all think of these surviving World War II era Italian warships? Please tell me in the comment section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time signing off. But I will have to do a video eventually on surviving warships from the Italian Navy of World War I. Yes, there are still some World War I era ships from the Italian Navy. So I will do that video eventually. But until next time, this was J-Man Time signing off.